What is going on Babylonians? That's right, it's me Songs of Rays back with another Outriders video to bring to you and today this is right hot on the heels of the recent buffs that have been happening to some of the legendary mods that have been coming out with the game um, and obviously people can fly have noticed that some mods are being used more than others obviously if you're going to have a look at the, the full article I highly recommend that you head over to the reddit they explain pretty uh, in really good detail as to why they think uh, mods are pretty much in three categories you've got area of effects and your, your single targets you've got uh, your moaning winds by itself and you've also got fortress um, and basically they're, they're, they're tackling they're trying to fail like figure out a little bit as to what the community feels about these uh, but also explain their points as to the meta shouldn't rely on these mods and so they're going to buff up the ones that aren't being used as much and that, that's kind of what leads me on to the point of this so we've had a buff to uh, ultimate storm whip and strings of gorse now there were two others that have been affected but these are the two I want to focus on with this video because I've always wanted to be able to make uh, a lightning kind of build and this is the only way that we can kind of do it because we don't have a class that actually is dedicated to lightning so we, we have to rely on the mods that are actually uh, in the game so strings of gorse was always one that interests me but the damage was way too low to be able to get anything to work uh, because it is it sounds like such a good area of effect kind of kind of thing a mod to be able to use um, but the damage was around about 79k which is nowhere near enough to be able to deal any kind of significant damage to any enemy even a tiny perforo um, but that's now had a buff to the point where it's now doing over 200k uh, just from one single tick of damage. Now, because we're it's inflicting damage to so many enemies within a certain area, it actually kind of magnifies it a little bit, and you can actually get this to hit what, at least more than one, well, at least two, three, two to three times on a single target. At least that's what my testing has shown uh, in terms of the damage. Unless I'm just getting really lucky with the multipliers, but that's kind of how it looks. And it's actually kind of devastating. You can actually put, fire this into a group of Fafouros, and you can expect pretty much all of them to die uh, if your build is pretty much set up correctly. And that's that's just absurd. That's 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 it elevates this mod to such a high degree, and it possibly makes it the best pistol mod that actually exists. So if you're looking for any kind of legendary pistols, it now makes sense to be able to go for the Bolton Thunder uh, to be able to grab yourself that mod. Um, the other one that got one was Ultimate Storm Weapon. Now this can be found uh, on the Daimyo as well as the Thunderbird. And this was always kind of one that looked a lot really cool um, when the game first came out. Everyone was like, "Ah, oh, this is a really, really pretty, pretty decent mod. Oh, it's really good for sustained DPS every single second, uh, and also it calls down that obviously the visual effect of the lightning beam kind of calls uh, kind of cooled down." But as people got, got into higher CTs, as other people kind of developed themselves into more endgame, uh, it just kind of fell to the side because there were so much better things. If you're going for anomaly power, you were pretty much always going to run fortress or moaning winds, and if you were going to go for firepower you're always going to pretty much go for dark sacrifice or killing spree so it didn't really have as much of a place now that didn't mean it was a it was a bad mod by uh, like by any stretch of the means it just meant it just wasn't able to do as much uh, as, as as damage that you kind of needed it to do to be able to keep up with the other mods so the buff that it's had now actually makes it quite consistent and i was quite surprised as to how um how effective and how damaging it can actually be so I've paired this with my uh, my current stream build because I've come straight from the stream uh, just to be able to give it a go. So I've got everything uh, tied into additional modifiers to Toxic, additional modifiers to Freeze, and obviously the Borealis set, so we're dealing even more damage to Freeze. And yeah, I'll, do you know what? The results can speak for themselves because I am really interested now in being able to make some kind of Storm build out of this. So you've heard it here first. Babylon are going to be making some kind of like Thor, Ragnarok kind of build, uh, and we're going to be able to you know use and call upon all the power that's within us to be able to make our own kind of pseudo class just from being able to shoot our guns now i haven't fully decided uh which class i'm going to use it for i might still stick with the techno because the additional multipliers to freeze uh are, are just too nice to be able to pass up on uh but i've got a small clip from chem plant which is obviously when that when that big door opens and you have so many enemies there uh, and that's pretty much where strings of gorse comes into it and you can just see the absolute carnage there so this is just a small video just to give you a taste of what's to come i'm going to look into it i'm going to get some uh, more figures behind it i'm going to make sure i get a proper build dedicated towards this and you can expect that to be coming next week so i hope it's keeping you ent entertained as always thank you so much to the members of babylon uh, and as i always like to say keep yourself safe keep yourself well i'll see you all on that next video